Okay, let's go over the whip tier list, which is the last weapon category we're going to be covering. Now, whips themselves, they can be pretty decent, they have okay range. Um, they can come out relatively quick, albeit their damage isn't really the greatest, and they do get stuck with very terrible Ash of War options. And there aren't really many options to begin with, especially stuff that have like unique Ashes themselves, only have a couple of Faith options. And you have this like weird Magma Stick, which is like some like weird looking squishy toy, and then there's this thing which comes off the Fire Giant's pubes. I don't know, we didn't get anything cool, like a cool Octopus Tentacle or something. I don't know, don't know why I thought of Tentacles, but... These things definitely need to get better Ash of War options, and maybe the ability to actually do some critical damage, that would be very nice. But starting off with PvE, we have the regular whip, which is just a basic generic whip. Gets the average damage, doesn't really do anything special, probably just a B tier. Now, this bad boy, the Thorned Whip, is gonna be your one of your bleed options. Now, the difference between this one and the Hoslo's Pedal Whip is that this one actually does more blood loss put up, well, no, it actually does less blood loss put up, but it actually does have better scaling. So if you actually want to go into more damage, then this one's going to be your better option. Um, however, this one you have to farm for it, which is kind of very annoying, and you don't really like to do that. So I'll probably just give this one a B tier, because the Hoslo's pedal up one actually does have better base damage, but worse scalings. And it actually gets higher base bleed as well, although it does actually have higher requirements. But you can actually just grab this um, guaranteed drop of NPC quest lines very early in the game. So it's probably just going to be your better option as well. This one probably can just get an A tier because you're better off just going with a bleed build when using a bleed type whip and just going into a cult infusion and probably ends up getting a higher blood loss build up itself. As for the Ermi, this is the only whip that actually does have slash damage and it does, uh, it is the only whip that actually has a unique attack as well. And its heavy attack is like this cool and fully charged at least, it does this cool like poking follow up, which is obviously very nice, has very good range. Obviously, when you fully extend a whip, it just makes it have enormous range. So, this bad boy can also get an A tier because slash damage is really good. It's more options, unique heavy attack. Why not? Unfortunately, you can't get an S tier because like whips themselves that it's never going to be S tiers because they don't get good Ash of War options. You can't critical of them. They still need to pray a bit more higher damage in terms of their base damage because like even straight swords out damage them as well. And obviously straight swords can attack a lot quicker. Um, The Magma Whip Candlestick. Yeah, I don't really care much for this one. This one looks stupid. It actually has the least amount of range as well, albeit not by much. It can actually do okay damage, but it's Ash of War, which is a Sea of Magma. Um, needs to be a lot better. You can actually do decent damage with this thing, but it doesn't get any type of hyper armor whatsoever. It needs to have like just as much hyper armor as something like Wild Strikes. So it probably end up being a lot better. Um, but unfortunately, the way it is right now, you're just gonna get staggered pretty easily, and it's not that quick. So I'm um, probably just gonna be a probably a C tier, honestly. Probably gonna split out as a C tier. It needs to get buffed. It needs to get buffed. The Giant's Red Braid. Now this thing, once again, another faith based whip. It's gonna be your lone strength based whip, I believe. And um, this one's Ash of War, which is Flame Dance, is okay. It can like stagger and is pretty nice. It does have very good range. The total overall damage can be pretty decent. However, it does consume 25 FP, which is way too high. And you get stuck in this stupid animation. You actually can cancel it, I lie. You can cancel it, but um, yeah, 25 FP is way too much for what it actually does. It needs to consume like maybe like 20 or even 15. Yeah, still not a fan of this one. This one also needs to get a buff in terms of its Ash of War. So gonna put these ones lower on the list. So if FromSoft ever sees them, they actually feel inclined to buff them. Anyway, PvP. Um, I don't really recommend... Actually, whips can be okay in PvP if you actually just want to spam a bunch of like, rolling attacks, and they can't be parried as well, so they get to have some uses, but once again, no critical attacks, and very bad Ash of War options. Actually, like, no Ash of War options, really. Um, as for the regular whip, once again, probably just a B tier, because it's just outclassed by almost every other option, because it just gets ba basic damage, doesn't really get any bleed or anything like that. Um, Thorned Whip, once again, probably just another B tier because it's outclassed by the Hosler's Pedal Whip, which actually gets higher base damage and gets better bleed as well, albeit the scalings aren't going to be as good. But yeah, this one probably can also just get an A tier because bleed is still pretty decent. As for the Urumi, yes, it does have a unique heavy attack where it's like a nice poke, but however, I don't really... Actually, you can probably roll catch with it in PvP, so I'll probably just give it like a higher B tier still. It's not too bad because the heavy attacks can be okay, but like, yeah, whips themselves aren't really going to be that great of an option in PvP. Um, yeah, the Magma Whip, once again, probably just a C tier. It just needs Hyper Armor. If you can't get Hyper Armor, you're not going to hit with anything like this in PvP with this Ash of War. Really unfortunate in that regard. Um, as for the Giant's Red Braid, once again, 25 FP is a bit too much, albeit in PvP it doesn't really matter much in terms of your FP consumption. Um, the range itself is okay, but I guess it's still pretty easy to dodge. Because it's not really like a guaranteed combo if you actually end up hitting with it. So I'd probably give it like a higher C tier, I guess. They just still both need to be buffed. In some aspect, I don't know how to do it, but just buff them, please. And please give whips 
the option to actually do critical attacks and actually give them good Ash of War options, hopefully in the DLC. It does incorporate some, but um, yeah. At the moment, they're very underpowered.